chances are getting to know somebody who is not a very good fit for you because you have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Um, the two of you hit it off well and you're trying to get to know them. But the problem is, is you have the devil, which indicates that the problem with you is the problem is not that the two of you don't have any kind of attraction. The problem between the two of you is you cancer crap should not have this attraction to these people at all, period. Because you getting to know some of these people at the end of the day, seven of cups, they could dare, they could be drunkards. They could be people that are strung out. I'm not going to say on what, but these are people who may just have a big ego and that's what they're strung out on. And they're not really upstanding great people at all. These are just people that use others and then throw them away when they're done. And yeah. Okay, just leave it there. I'm gonna come get it. All right. So, um, so the so the devil represents just that. You shouldn't even be worried about that type of stuff, right? Like the 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 insta the animal magnetism between you and them. Because at the end of the day, these people that represent the devil, they're supposed to be enticing. You know what I mean? Anything, anything that's meant to be a temptation by definition is supposed to appeal to you on some level. But you can't just have to over you can't just have to override that and rise above that. The six of wands represent so you can't just did everything that you can to get away from them. Okay, you stop talking to them. Okay. Cause cause you Okay, good, because you can't just started to see how much this was, how, how dysfunctional this was, and how it is that you, you know, you cancers ultimately, you were attracted to them, and that was ultimately a part of the problem. Yeah, so you stopped hanging out with them because you knew the relationship wasn't really going to be functional. You knew that what came behind that was dysfunctionality. So the Queen of Wands is about how, since that's the case, um, uh, they're going to continue to try, right, to see if you're absolutely secure in yourself. They're going to see, they're going to see if, you know, you go for it. They're going to try you one more time, right, to see if, if, if how they interacting with you is just right, if it's hitting its, if it's hitting its spot just right, if you know what I mean. And the sun card and the ten of cups represents you'll have an obligation if you're really serious about meeting uh, different people, uh, higher quality people, this is a test. You will have to actually turn down this this person because if you're saying that you different, you can't be hanging around the individuals, right? You can't you can't even hang you can't even want to hang around the individuals, right? You don't associate yourself with those types of people. And when I say those types, I'm not talking about uh, a particular skin tone or whatever. I'm talking about anybody that has the mentality of usury in mind. Okay? So the sun and the ten of cups now is about how this the ten and the sun and the, uh, the sun and the ten of cups, excuse me, is all about how um, so if you really want to pass this test, you're going to have to actually walk away from them. It's not a matter of you you know, having it both ways where you get a chance to talk to these people and hang out with them and at the same time, you know, hang out with them and at the same time still be in a in a in a relationship with them and and and, and you know, be able to trust them while they do that to you, right? Because otherwise they those people won't really take you seriously like that. And you cancer crabs wanna be taken seriously. So the three of wands now is about how so when you cancer crabs, not if, but when you, because I know a lot of y'all would do the right thing, but when you cancer crabs decide to walk away from these people and you're done for good, you put this behind you, what's going to happen is now the world opens up to you even more because now it's like you cancer crabs, 
have all of these 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 new options because you don't have to worry about in the future because that's one thing that a lot of you cancers don't understand right like in the future let's just say you do get yourself a significant other right you're still gonna have temptation anyway that's you're still gonna have temptation you're still gonna have people you know like uh You're still gonna have individuals, how do I say, like um, tempting you while you are in a relationship with somebody. And they know that you're in a relationship, but they don't care. They're still pushing up on you. You know what I mean? And what are you gonna do then? So if you don't, so I'm glad that you Cancer Crabs got that prepared now because once you got that prepared now you are ready for the future right some of the times when i got the most attention was when i had a girlfriend at the time <laughs> so the thing is that the the death card is the death card is about how uh so you you putting this uh interaction behind you this person behind you you putting this situation behind you in the rear view mirror uh as as another test as a learning experience as you should because you can't just understand that you know you have to be able to get that right and it's very true you have to you have to be able to know that if somebody is is trying to waste your time you should not take them seriously Right, so let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify the death card. The Hermit, yeah, the Eight of Cups, the Lovers, the Four of Wands. So yeah, this is definitely, let's get into it. The Hermit and the Eight of Cups is about how this is something that very few people actually get a chance to experience. Because when it comes to relationships, it's whatever for most people. They're not really in a real relationship like that. They saying that that's what they are, but they're doing whatever. They cheating, they they spending money, they doing whatever, right? They anything it takes to to stand next to somebody, right? So very few people compared to the majority that's out tricking off. But very few people are really willing to go through the lengths that a lot of you cancers are willing to go through in the sense of um, going through the ups and the downs and learning what comes with being not only decent, but what comes with being in something real. Because when you're in, when you cancer, when you are in a real relationship, you will have people that try to tear y'all apart, knowing good and well that that's what it is that they doing. You will have people, you will meet people that will, that you could tell, like you will tell them, you, it, you in an established bond already, you in something special. They do not care one bit. They will literally, they will hear you and they will still try to get with you. And, and, and as a matter of fact, if you want, attention get somebody right like like let it be known let it right let it be known or have people see you come in with the person that you call significant other right and it's like it, you can't get more people than you can get when you're with somebody that's when all the people come out to try to flirt with you to try to pull you away to try to tempt you away from something real that you've got going on knowing good and goddamn well that you <laughs> knowing good and well that you have filet mignon at home so the thing is is that the, the lovers and the four of wands right is about how since that's the case you uh cancers have to be in a situation where y'all can't allow yourselves to, to to slip up if a relationship is something that you legitimately want you have to be able this is the preparation this is the this is the preparation that it is that you're seeing, right? You can't allow yourself to be caught up in that type of situation where you 
um, you slip up and then you start thinking that, you know, maybe it's cool for you to do this. No, because once you open the door to some of it, you cancer crabs are essentially opening the door to all of it. So let's clarify, right? So now that you got that preparation, let's clarify the three of wands. Let's clarify the three of wands. You have the judgment, the six of wands, the strength card, and then you have the page of cups. The judgment and the six of wands, to clarify the, th the three of wands, is about, yes, because what happens is, is that if you can get through that, you can get through a lot of, you can get through a lot of the temptation, that the future temptation that will come to you. People will come to you off and all types of stuff. When you're in something good, you will be surprised at how much people will try to tempt you. They'll tempt you in money. They'll tempt you with some of the finest individuals in the world, regardless of whatever you into. They will touch, they will, they will try to tempt you with all types of crazy stuff. So you have to understand that you can't allow yourself to be caught up with that. Right? And and this is what inspires you ultimately to keep your hands clean because when you realize how dirty the game is right how eat how easily it is to get you tripped up and how people want you to be as corrupt as they are you will stop if you if you 21 and older you will stop taking a bottle you will stop you know puffing what you puffing it's enough to get you to see like People try to use vices, right, to get anyone caught up with anything. So you, you got to understand, like, you could still have your vices and all of that and still enjoy the things that you want. But again, in, in, in this life, the strength and you have the page of want, the page of cups, excuse me, you have to be able to, yes, enjoy it. But at the same time, be in a situation where you can't allow yourself to be caught up with the ideology of you enjoy indulgence and having fun so much. So it's like, it's a it's a fine line that you can't just have to walk between um, being like enjoying yourself, but also understanding that this, this discipline is here for protection. And that if you didn't have discipline and you just do whatever, you would be at the, you would compromise yourself to the point where you're at the kindness of strangers. So this is really a blessing in disguise for you cancers that a lot of you cancers are really learning this lesson now, however old you are, so that you don't have to keep reliving this, number one, but also you don't have to do this. You don't have to fall prey to this in the future because there will be more tempting scenarios for you, right? especially if you're young. There will be more tempting scenarios. I'm telling you, people will tempt you with all types of stuff.